Hi, I'm Pat Hill and I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I have a real passion for cooking. What could be better than sharing the food that you love with your family and friends? So today on Grandma's Thanksgiving, I'm going to be making a sage sausage and apple stuffing. I think you're gonna love it. What could be better? So anyhow, um, what I'd like to do is get started with um, the stuffing part of it, we are going to be using uh, the Pepperidge Farm prepackaged stuffing mix, but certainly any stuffing mix that you'd like would be fine. So we've got 16 ounces of that in our bowl. And um, next what we're going to do is do a little bit of the prep work. I've already got the two golden delicious apples uh, cored, peeled and chopped and ready to go. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, originally, our family is from Canada, and as you know, in Canada, Thanksgiving is in October. So generally speaking, um, Thanksgiving are with our immediate family, which is great. We've got all the all the grandkids and our kids, and uh, it's a it's really a wonderful time. So um, in addition to the apples, we also need to chop up or prep some onions. So I'm going to cut these up, get them ready to go. The one thing about onions is my husband absolutely loves the smell of onions. So if I want to cheat, the best thing I can do is chop up some onions, put them in a pan, and start frying them. So when he comes home, he thinks that I've really gone to a lot of trouble. So that's my uh, that's my big secret. He walks in and he'll be like, "What are you cooking?" So anyhow, so we've got our uh, so we'll put our apples in in our bowl here, and then we'll add our onions that we coarsely chopped. We've got the bench scraper. If you don't have one of these, they're just a really great tool. So finally, um, what we'll do is we'll um, cut up some celery. And certainly if you have some nice celery that has the leaves on it, I wasn't that lucky today, um, so I don't have the leaves. But if you've got some nice looking celery, by all means, you can add those leaves in too. So when I was growing up, uh, my mom taught me how to cook. And one of the things that she was a real stickler for was following the recipe. So as a result, whenever I cook something, I normally follow the recipe, at least the first time, to find out if it's something that I'd like. And then from that, I go ahead and I make changes that, that suits our family. So my mom's a pretty good cook too. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of Canadian type recipes, so <laughs> Bob and I have been down in the States for quite a while. Okay. So we've got our celery all chopped up. We're going to put that in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we've got that all ready, is um, the next thing we're going to, oh, I might as well stop it.